Welcome everybody. My name's Deborah, and I'm going to take you through a Pilates teaser. 10 minutes of what you can expect from a Pilates class at Mitchum Community House. All you need is a mat to do Pilates at Mitchum Community House. Or if you're doing this teaser, you can just do it on the carpet. You can simply watch if you prefer. But remember, just honour your body and only take it to a level that's right for you. I give lots of options. You must really get medical clearance if you've got injuries or health concerns. Otherwise, follow along as best you can. Fingertips down beside you. We start our Pilates class with a warm up. Moving our spine, we turn the right palm up and reach up and over. Moving our spine laterally and then other side. Warm up normally goes for five minutes, but because it's a teaser, we'll just do a couple of moves. Arms out wide, palms facing up, twist to the left. Back to centre and twist to the right. So one more move here. Just grab the backs of your knees. Stay as you are. I oh, know, in fact, let's all walk our way round, taking our feet to the side so that you can look at the device and see me on the side. Hold the back of your knees, feet flat to the floor, knees bent. Inhale here. In Pilates we inhale through the nose and as we exhale, we exhale through the mouth and we curl up, look down at our navel and tip our hips. We exhale and we pull our spine right through and we turn our head and heart up to the sky. Again, we flex our spine, curl right under. We extend our spine. We pull it all the way. Well done. Return to neutral spine. So we've moved our spine in all its directions. Let's roll down and try some Pilates core work. Tip your hips and peel your way down. You can use the legs to help you in an assisted roll down. And then place the feet on the floor just over a foot from your bottom. Hip width apart. Palms down beside you. Now you keep your palms beside you. I'm just going to move my palms so you can see my lower back. In fact, I'll put it over my chest. Pilates rocking. You've got your natural curve of the lower back. When you flatten it out, no curve, the tip, hips tip and you pull your core on and then you release. Now try this with your hands on your hips, tip and release and feel how the hips move. A lot of Pilates is stabilising your hips and shoulders, tip, good work, one more, tip your hips, imprint your spine and then release. Pass back down beside you. Let's take it up a notch. So inhale when it's easiest. Exhale through your pursed lips like pushing the breath out through a straw when it's a little harder. Shoulders down. Inhale, zip up your core. Exhale, float your left leg up off the floor until your knee comes up to table which is knee over hip, shin parallel with the floor, and back down. Other leg, Pilates leg floats up and down. Up and down. Now place your hands on your hips again so that you can feel you're holding your hips stable. They're not rocking all over the place. You've got your internal girdle working for four. Doing a good job for three, for two, and one. Well done, lower the legs down. So we've worked the lower core, we're gonna add the upper core. So sweep your arms over your head. Bend your elbows and support your head, either with your fingers or by locking all the fingers in together and cupping them behind your head. We keep our elbows wide and we take an inhale, turn our internal girdle on, keep the natural curve of our back, exhale, head lifts, shoulders lift, elbows stay wide. 
exhale back down sorry inhale here we exhale to come up we look between our legs and back down Pilates chest lifts exhale lift up we're going to do a little measurement take out your left fist place it under your chin that's where your chin should sit when you come up fist distance and down and do a couple more of those chin fist distance peel up look through your legs all the way down good work last one exhale peel up and all the way down all right, we're going to put those two moves together, but if it's enough for you, just do one or the other. Don't do both. So supporting the head, inhale, zip up your core. Float your left leg off, float your head off. Exhale, first lips. Inhale, slowly release. Pilates is about control. So go slow and control the move. Keep the hips stable, keep the core working. All right, one more to each leg. Exhale, you are strong and down. Remember, some people might just be doing legs up and down. Last part of this move, adding a twist. Really lost me, I'm back. So last part is adding a twist. Float your right leg off, float your head off, and bring your left elbow towards your right, and you don't have to touch, just a little twist, and then to the other side. Little twist, and back down. And twist, and down. Maybe you're just doing legs, maybe you're just doing head. One more to each, some of us will be doing both. Well done. Head comes down, elbows come down, feet come down, arms go wide in line with shoulders. Drop your knees to the front of the room, turn your head to the back of the room. Through centre and then to the other side. Remember, so long as you can sit down or lie down on your mat, you can do Pilates at Mitchum Community House. Back to centre. Slide the palms back beside you and walk your feet to hip width apart. Now remember our pelvic rocking where we flatten the back. Start with that first. So you flatten the lower back. You start to squeeze your bottom and you lift it off. And then you lift the lower back. I'm going to move my arm out of the way. And then you peel your way up. And then you lay each vertebra back on the mat as you come down. So it's articulating the spine, moving the spine, flatten the back, squeeze the bottom, one vertebra at a time, move, move, move your precious spine. You don't come any higher than a straight line from knees to shoulders. So let's exhale, peel up. The exhale's on the hardest part. Hold up here. C, no higher than straight line to knees or shoulders. We're going to hold if we can. If you prefer, stay down. And inhale, lift the arms up and over. Now, you don't let the ribs flare out. Keep the core contained and back over. And we'll do one more because we always work our arms as well in Pilates. And this time, take them over again, but leave them over and stretch the arms out and roll back. From here, slide your legs long, roll to the side of the body. And we also do leg work, side leg work. I've got a little pillow here, so you can always put your head on a pillow. You can put your head on your arm, or you can cup it on your arm. I'm gonna do pillow for today to show you how nice and relaxed, nice and relaxing it looks. And then we bring our knees up in line with our hips. Tuck our feet back a little and squeeze them together and we do the Pilates clam. We open the knees, we close the knees. We exhale, we inhale. To, if that's too easy for you, lift the feet 
and that's the classic clam. Feet stay together even when you're open. You can squeeze when you close. And you can do lots and lots of different type of side leg work, but today we'll just do only clam as we're running out of time. You'll end up with beautiful, long, strong muscles from your Pilates. You're still zipped up and you'll do two more and then we'll change sides. Down and down, lift up. Change sides. If you were using a pillow, set your pillow up. Bring your knees in line with your hips. Tuck your feet back. Feet down, feet up. Student's choice. And then clam, open and close. And we try to open as wide as we can so we get the best stretch through our hips. And we'll do four more and three more. Two more and lucky last. From here, lower the feet, gently lift yourself up, return to facing the front to our opening position. Move your pillow out of the way, and that's a tiny little taster of Pilates. And we finish the Pilates with a cool down, and we'll just do what we did at the start lifting the right arm up and over, other side up and over, both arms up, twist to the left and twist to the right. I hope to see you at Pilates at Mitcham Community House.